Hi all, this is Chris here with Everyday VBA. In this video, this is the solution to the Macro Monday Go Back button. This is a really cool and simple macro that you can add to really a lot of workbooks. And it can make your life just so much easier. Because a lot of times what can happen is you've got a dashboard and you've got different sheets where you've got your data and you want to go back to the one that you're on, but how do you know which one you're on? So the Go Back button is just, it's awesome. So we're going to just dig right in. Um, First thing that we're going to do is we're just going to, I've got my Visual Basic Editor open. We're going to go sub, go back. All right. So the key to the go back button is you're going to keep the, the last sheet data somewhere, right? Um, and so we're going to need to do a couple variables. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to do NME, uh, and that's going to be sheet um, NI. I'm going to call it N, NI or name. Uh, actually, sheet SI for sheet index, which is equal to active sheet dot index, right? So that's going to give me the number, the sheet that I'm on, right? Next thing I need to know is I need to know the row, and that's going to be active cell dot row, and then I need the column equals active uh, cell dot column. Okay, perfect. Okay. That is all the information that we need. Now, we need to keep that data. Um, we're going to use that data to actually put that onto sheet one. But the first thing we need to do is we need to basically go back to where we're at. And then we'll reset those, reset those, um, the information. And this will kind of make more sense as we kind of get along. So we're going to go sheet. Um, we're going to go last SI, which is the last index is equal to sheet uh, one dot cells one one and I'm going through this kind of quickly but I'll have the code so that you'll kind of know what's going on so uh, and then we're going to go last row is equal to sheet one dot cells one comma two and then we're going to go last cl is equal to sheet one dot cells one comma three okay so we we're basically setting that information we're going to be putting that information in here but the first thing we need to do is we need to pull that information before we put the new information that we just grabbed so now what we need to do is we need to go to whatever that last sheet was so this is going to be sheet um, sheets lsi dot act select um, you can use select or activate. To be honest, I don't know the difference between the two. And then we're going to go to sheets. Uh, we're going to go just cells, LRW, LCL, dot select. Okay. So now we're selecting that information. Now what we need to do is we need to basically take the, the information that we just grabbed at the very beginning. And that's going to, we're basically going to copy all this. And we're going to reverse the formula on these. And we're going to set it to our original variables. Now, hopefully this works. This is a little different than I typically do it. But this is actually a cleaner way than I typically do it. Um, or at least the last way that I did it. So we're going to do W. Um, and you'll notice, we'll go through this really pretty slow so that I can kind of show you what's going on. Um, now the other thing that we've got going on here is we've got we don't have any information in these three cells that we're putting the information into and so what we're going to do is we're going to add just kind of a, a simple if you run into an error just don't do anything or go to the next row um, and so this is going to be on error resume next um, and that's going to say if we run across an error um, just just uh, don't do anything so we're going to grab that information. Um, this information is not empty because we're actually on the first sheet. And we're in um, one and we're in one, right, which is perfect. So this is empty. This is actually where you would get an error. Um, but it's not going to give us an error uh, because we've got that on error resume next. And now what we're going to do is we're just basically going to put this information in those columns. So now if I come over here and I go hit, hit this uh, back button, I uh, got a little bit ahead of myself. So what I did on this button is I, I've got this um, assigned my macro, my go back button. So 
So I've got that. We're going to copy this. And we're going to paste it. Come on. I'm going to assign a macro here. I'm just going to assign macros. Uh, then we're going to assign the last one. Okay. So we all have these assigned, right? So I'm going to select here on sheet three. I'm down D9 and I'm going to click the go back button and it's not going to allow me to do it because I'm in the middle of code if you ever get that error that means you're basically you're, you've got code going um, which is great um, so it's going to take me back now you'll notice when I hit that I'm on sheet 3 row 10 column 4 so if I run this again I'm going to just go ahead and put a breakpoint in here and I'm going to hit this button and what we're going to do is we're going to grab which cell I'm in which is 1 one one which is sheet one row one column one but I'm gonna go to these sheets which is sheet three sheet three row ten column four it's gonna select that sheet and it's going to select where I was at now the cool thing is if I'm coming back here I'm on sheet two and we finish this real quick I'm going to take this off, and it will take you exactly to whatever your go back is, which is really nice. Um, typically, what I have on these is I have a dashboard button, which is basically a home screen, and then I have the go back button, which is awesome. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add those pieces in, but really, that's that's really your solution to Macro Monday. Really quick, we're going to just add a button. Um, and hyperlink it. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick and then we will basically be finished. So in all of these we're going to add some text. We're going to clean it up a little bit. This is the go back. Uh, we're going to put that centered and centered. Come on, center that. There we go. And I'm going to come actually in here and I'm going to delete these. Cut. Uh, because I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take the two buttons that I have. And the first one that I'm going to do, I don't have to, um, I'm just going to hyperlink, I'm just going to hyperlink a button, which is, uh, which is funny because it took me a really, I was, I'd been doing VBA for a really long time before I had a friend show me how to do this. And I was like, well, that's pretty easy. It's kind of funny. So this is just going to go to cell reference A1 and cheat one. And this is just going to be the, the dashboard or the home button. So I'm just going to call this home. We've got a home button in here. We're going to center that. Center that. And then I'm going to copy both of these. And I'm going to put these on, on every page. And the nice thing on this is once you have this in place, is you can always go back and you can always go to your home screen, right? So your home, your dashboard. So I go home. And so let's say I want to go back. It's going to take me here. Let's say I'm over here. And I'm like, wait a second, I want to go back, and then I want to go back. It's going to take me back and forth to like a dashboard screen and then whatever other screen I was on. So if I'm here, I, I can go back. It's going to take me back there, and then I'm just back and forth, right? So it really can be a pretty powerful way to just navigate, especially workbooks with lots of screens. So that is your Macro Monday challenge or your solution. I hope you guys enjoyed.